Hello, everyone. Today, we'll introduce ProTag technology, developing new therapies through targeted protein degradation. There will be four parts to this video: background, introduction, development, and challenge. Traditional drug research and development is focused on directly regulating the activity of proteins or enzymes to treat diseases. The development and application of protein activity regulators, especially inhibitors, has always been the mainstream direction of drug research and development. The great success of the research and development of small molecule drugs has made a great contribution to human health, especially the targeted therapy. Taking anti-cancer drugs as an example, traditional small molecules inhibit target proteinase activity and induce cancer cell apoptosis through targeted binding. However, target proteins and tumor cells often restore their activity and obtain drug resistance through overexpression of target proteins or new mutations of target proteins. The defects of traditional small molecular inhibitors make small molecule drugs decline day by day. So there is an urgent need to introduce revolutionary new technologies and the research and development of small molecule drugs. Nucleic acid-based strategies that control protein function by affecting protein expression have recently made a breakthrough and began to enter the clinic and receive attention. However, the poor metabolic stability and low bioavailability limit the broad application of small molecular nucleic acid technology. Protac is a technology invented in 2001, which uses the intracellular cleaner ubiquitin proteasome system. The normal physiological function of the ubiquitin proteasome system is responsible for cleaning up denatured, mutated, or harmful proteins in cells. Protac uses the cell's own protein destruction mechanism to remove specific carcinogenic proteins from the cell, which is an alternative to targeted therapy. Faced with this phenomena, researchers have found a new way to use small molecules to knock out functional target proteins, rather than simply inhibiting the activity of target proteins. This method was originated from the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. On October 6, 2004, Israeli scientists Aaron Chichenover, Avrin Hershikol, and American scientist Irvin Rose were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for jointly discovering the process of protein degradation regulated by ubiquitin. To some extent, it makes it the use of the ubiquitin proteasome system, or UPS, in mammalian cells to break down unnecessary or inappropriate proteins. This specially designed small molecule can hijack UPS and label the target protein as a degraded protein then promote the degradation signal through proteasome, and finally inhibit the proliferation of tumor cells. The use of proteolysis targeting chimeras, or protax, is a new area of induced protein degradation, which employs heterobifunctional molecules that induce a ligand to bind with the target protein, another ligand to recruit an E3 ubiquitin ligase and a linker to concatenate the two ligands. Once the ternary complex, or target protag E3, is formed, the recruited E3 will employ an E2 ubiquitin conjugating enzyme to transfer ubiquitin to the surface of the target protein. A polyubiquitination signal will be recognized by the proteasome to promote the degradation of the targeted proteins. The ubiquitin itself consists of 76 amino acid residuals with a molecular weight of about 8.5 kilodalton. The name ubiquitin is because it has a highly conserved sequence and exists in all known eukaryotes. Ubiquitin actually contains eight different amino acid residuals and can form complex polyubiquitin chains on the target protein. Ubiquitination refers to the process that ubiquitin molecules classify intracellular proteins, select target protein molecules, specifically modify target proteins, and form target protein polyubiquitin chains under the action of a series of special enzymes. 
These special enzymes include ubiquitin activating enzyme or E1, ubiquitin binding enzyme or E2, ubiquitin ligase E3, and so on. Protax achieve degradation through hijacking the cell's ubiquitin proteasome system, or UPS. The UPS consists of an E1 activating enzyme, which conjugates to a E2 enzyme, transferring a ubiquitin molecule to the E2. E2 then binds to the E3 ligase in a complex, which can then recognize target proteins for subsequent ubiquitin tagging and degradation by the 26S proteasome. Compared to smart molecular inhibitors and macromolecular antibodies, Protag has obvious advantages. Active site not required, sustained degradation, lower doses for potent degradation, weak binding is sufficient, target of all functions, isoform specific, degradation of a complex. In 2000, Zodanol engineered SCFE3 ubiquitin ligase complex by using a specific protein interaction domain to target PRB in East and human osteosarcoma SARS-2 cells. These efforts could be regarded as the predecessor of PROTAG, which was later developed by Catherine Sakamoto and Raymond Dacheris in collaboration with Kyombo Kim, Frank Mercurial, and Craig Cruz in 2001 and 2003. For the first decade from 2001 to 2010, these pedigreed groups, led by Raymond Dacheris, Catherine Sakamoto, Kyumbo Kim, and Craig Cruz dominantly contributed to the development of this new technology. In several proof-of-concept experiments first published in 2001, the Cruz lab and collaborator reported that the first protax bite functional molecules, the ubiquitin proteasome system, lead to neighbor-induced ubiquitination and subsequent protein degradation by recruiting E3 ligase to the target protein. The initial technology is based on short peptide protag technology, and successful targets include MAT-AP2, androgen receptor, aromatics receptor, PI3K, and so on. However, the activity of this peptide-based protax was low and remained at the micromolar range. The main obstacle may be the poor cell permeability. It seems that the homopeptide-based protax, for instance protax targeting tau, were able to transport into the cell membrane because the addition of CPP DRH89. Another problem for this peptide-based protax is the size of the chimeric molecule, which could be recognized by immune system to produce antibodies. This may damper the clinical applications in human as the produced antibodies may neutralize the effect of the molecule in vivo. Fortunately, continual attempts on improvement of the peptide-based protax have promoted the development of a new generation of protax. It was first reported in 2008 that Natlin-3 from Roche, a smart molecular inhibitor of MDM2 and P53, was ligated to the E3 ligase MDM2 to degrade androgen receptors. The concentration of cell activity reached micromoles, and after many attempts, it still could not further improve its cell activity. Smart molecule protag can be considered as an improved and universal platform technology for inducing protein degradation. This technology platform forms a chimera bifunctional smart molecule with a ligand binding to the target protein at one end and a ligand binding to E3 ubiquitin ligase at the other end, which is connected by a chain. In vivo, the target protein can be pulled closer to E3 enzyme, and ubiquitin can be attached to the target protein by ligase, which will be fed into proteasome for degradation. Smart molecule-based protag has many advantages over peptide-based protag. Most importantly, a smart molecule-based protag has more potential of being developed into a drug because of a smart molecule is easier for human body to absorb than a peptide. So far, with the successful development of smart molecule ligands, four E3 ligases, MDM2, CIAP1, CRBN, 
or Sarah Blinn, and von Hippo Lindau, VHL, have been used as the basis for all smart molecule protags to selectively degrade target proteins. To date, more than 30 proteins critical for the development of diseases were targeted, with the majority effort on the proteins for cancer therapy. The targeted proteins include nuclear receptors, ER, AR, and RAR, protein kinases, AKT, BCR, ABL, CABL, BKT, anaplastic lymphoma kinase, or ALK, CDK9, RIPK2, DAPK1, and PSD95, proteins and transcriptional regulation, BRD4, SCART2, HDAC6, TRIM24, IKZH13, and SMAT3, regulatory proteins, CRABP1 and 2, TAC3, AHR, FKBP12, ERR alpha, and X protein. Neurodegenerative related proteins, Huntington, Tau, alpha synuclein, and PSD95. Cellular metabolic enzymes, MATAP2, and DHODH. And fusion proteins, Halotax. According to Cortales and Integrity databases, protag-related drugs are in the stage of preclinical research and early discovery. The representative drugs for protags are shown in the figure. Among them, the two smart molecule drugs of protag made by Arvinas are making the fastest progress. One is the androgen receptor, which is a target for prostate cancer, and the other is the estrogen receptor which is a target for breast cancer. In November 2017, it was named ARV110, the first clinical candidate to target and induce androgen receptor protein degradation. In December 2017, ARV378, the second candidate drug that targets and induces the degradation of estrogen receptor proteins, was named. The chart highlights the various steps involved from administration to intracellular degradation and the biophysical techniques used to study them. In bold are common parameters to characterize protags at each stage. Although it is very promising to use protag for drug development, it remains of many concerns about the clinical application. These concerns include traditional approaches inefficient and prone to artifacts. Only a couple of ligases are used as vehicle for protax. Miss toxicity and its detection, especially long-term toxicity and reproductive toxicity. Many undruggable targets are unprotectable due to lack of ligases and rapid screening. Rapid and faithful protax screening system unavailable. Key questions to consider when developing protein degraders. Is my target degraded? Does my protag form a ternary complex? Does my target become ubiquitinated? Is my protag cell permeable? What is the target affinity? What is the phenotypic consequence of target degradation? As a leading service provider in the field of biological research and drug discovery, BOC Sciences is fully competent and dedicated to serving one-stop proteolysis targeting chimeric, or PROTAG. Our services include design of the ligase system, target protein services, PROTAG design services, structures and mechanisms of PROTAG, PROTAG in vitro evaluation, PROTAG in vivo evaluation. Our products include E3 ligase ligand linker conjugate, ligand for E3 ligase, ligand for target protein, protag, protag linker, sniper, ubiquitin ligases, assay kit, protag in vivo evaluation, targets and molecular glue. BOC Sciences offers our clients with various services and products that cover every aspect of protag 
from molecular discovery to biological evaluation. Any individual modules are available for our clients. To achieve the best efficacy, we do recommend our one-stop ProTag service package, and we are committed to taking care of your project from scratch to full development. For more details regarding BOC Sciences ProTag service, please feel free to contact us for assistance.